Riley. Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a sin. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a sin! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks in your damn paranoia. Okay, see you later. Bye. Sometimes you gotta wonder if nothing you've got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down. <laughs> Oh, come on. How was that not? Does Nick really eat hell yet? Yeah. He just... He drinks oil and, uh... Eats, uh, components. <laughs> Man took a full-blown shot to the... Oh, for God's sake. Man took a full bloody shot to the forehead then and just shrugged it off like nothing happened. Uh... Short automatic pipe rifle. <sighs> no, I'm good. Uh, should we give this rapid submachine gun a go? Let's uh, let's give it a go. Fucking know I am overweight, aren't I? Bloody hell! Uh, But I do want some stuff to take back with me and sell. So let's give this uh, a... Isn't this the one where they had an elected mayor or something like that? Some shit like that, I can't remember. How's it going, dude? Nick? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I went up because my day, was, day off was today, but I ended up going to someone's house. And yeah. Yeah, I must have gone to bed at about 5 o'clock this morning. I woke up at 11. His name's Sean. Uh, woke he up at 11 but I don't and know then he walked well home, got back in at about half one, fell asleep now. back to about six, <laughs> literally just woke up. No, I haven't got a headache. I haven't got a headache. I just feel really, really drowsy and everything's happening real slow. Oh, my response time would be shit right now. you got troubles and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Hey, bubblehead. <sighs> Nikki, what are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more. Uh, yeah, no, hacking, just quite irritating. A shame you got beat up by a Oh, sorry, darling. <laughs> uh. Recoil control is like well off, well off. doesn't have a special submachine gun or anything like that. Does However, I remember having her uh, having a cheddar pat skin below in brackets. He's he's not that fat, to be fair. Yeah, where is it, Nick? I can't remember. <laughs> Everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. 
<laughs> We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. I honest to God hate I hate fucking uh Algato support. All they ever do is tell you to do the same fucking shit over and over again. What else can you tell me? It's ridiculous. It pisses me off. When it happened. All they ever tell you to do is uninstall and reinstall the software, kind of disconnect it, reconnect right. it, and then go to Windows Update, check for an update on Windows Update. It's like, don't they think that I would have fucking tried that by now? I, start, I said to them that I've tried everything that they told me last time. Yeah, exactly, I've tried all of that. But I do, honest to God, think it's my... Uh, my motherboard, so hopefully I'll be able to get another motherboard. Well, a, a new computer soon enough. I'm not planning on spending too much money this month. I haven't got to take take anyone out either. So. A lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people: raiders, super mutants, the gunners. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as humans, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, and where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. Discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find... What sure. really annoys me about this game is... That Let's focus on the whole time the institute is like the bad guy, so you're always like thinking it was the bad people, and then when you find out Sean is actually the leader of the institute, you're just like, well, why the fuck would you, you know, send your people in to kill me? Why would you send simps at me? Why do that? I'm trying to kill his own family. Something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? One of them came right up to me. Bald head, scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Yeah, at all, does, did you? does does seem strange. Uh I well I, I mean I know it's I know it's Kellogg's so everything was foggy. Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but uh. no one knows who his employer is. He bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The yeah, exactly. It's years. just so weird. It just doesn't fit. Does my head it's in. Sean, it's what really been. annoys me about this game. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the physics the engine and all of that shit. The game itself was fucking brilliant. That's just the, the flimsy different. story writing and well, towards the end of it, the it's of just maybe it's someone else's just kid. shit. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Let you and I take a walk <sighs> over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always know. Okay, sweet. Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of the article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh. Mm, look who it is. What brings Put you to the fan. Here? No, I'm gonna be there. Mm, 
that's the way out, evidently. That doesn't sound good. Dog meat sounds like he's in a bit of trouble. Saved up me. Okay, let's uh, let's go on like we want to succeed. Okay, log. Do it then, huh? Okay. Fine. Your son Sean. Great kid. A little older than you may have expected. But I'm guessing you figured that out by now. But if you're hoping for a happy reunion, ain't gonna happen. The boy's not here. Also, oh, surely Kellogg would Fine. be dead by now. Surely. I guess you've earned that much. Sean's in a good place. Where he's safe and comfortable and loved. The place he calls home. The Institute. The Institute? We'll all find him no matter where he is. Nothing will stop me. God, you're persistent. I give you credit. <laughs> the way a parent should act. The way I'd be acting if I were in your place, I like to think. Even if it is useless. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, yep. You ready? You know I am, Kellogg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just wanted to see if it would kill me. And it does. I need to get further back. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. This is one there. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my baby, but that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He gave them Sean. The Institute. Oh boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. The Commonwealth's big man. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know about it. The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. He's dead. Men like that would have had access. In and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Because he's dead. So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. 
He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him alive. Gets his brain blown out. Huh. Brain. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fall from the old subroutine? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. I hope you're right. Sweet. <coughs> At least I remember this part. <laughs> True, I didn't remember it. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this, this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can all go running across the Commonwealth. So, keep coming. I have to go to the memory den either way. I'm going to introduce you to a model. If you Nick want to there together, just say so. I'm gonna say Nick. It's you and me. <sighs> hey, don't eye the Brahmin if you got any sense. No one is listening to you, dude. We're, we're looting. <laughs> Ooh, brace tempered. That could be pretty useful. Sorry, Dance! Hey, I want a quick save, because I can't remember if Dance dies or not. Oh shit, I saved too late! Fucking hell, this is the slowest countdown of all time. Ah, he's fine. He's fine. He's just dying a little bit. Melting a bit. Shorts to double damage and critical meter fills 15% faster. Fucking nice! Thank you. You're welcome, civilian. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. Spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? Uh, we'll agree to join, sure. Because I'll follow your lead here, but let's try and keep it light on the zealotry, shall we? That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station and we'll discuss the details. Nick's gonna hate me, but fuck Nick. He's an arsehole. Okay, so I need to fast travel real quick back to uh, a place that I can sell shit. 
So let's go back to Diamond City and let's go sell some shit. Path up, so let's not take the path up. Detected. Screw you guys. I remember there being some awesome shit over there. Come on, get from out behind there. Really? Go on, Nick, you take that fire. What's Chris? <sighs> Someone else, sir. Heads up. Go ahead. If I hit that. Fucking hell, Nick. I gave you those Molotovs for emergencies, not to use on fucking bloke fires. Jesus Christ, son. There's going to be a bear in this house. No, nope, bullet fires. Okay. Well, I can deal with those. No! Ah, no, uh, uh, no, that's the dough. Fucking hell, Nick! It's one fucking bloat fly! Jesus, son, that's two grenades you've wasted on fucking bloat flies. This man is a fucking maniac. Give a man eight fucking Molotov cocktails and all of a sudden he starts to launch. Launching the fucking things at everything he sees. He really does fucking hate blowflies. Like I, like he can't, ooh. Permanently take 5% less damage from melee attacks. Nice. Pretty cool. What the fuck, Nick? You almost fucking killed us with that one, you twat. Oh shit, forgot the orc can there. See, look, he has got that shit ready and waiting. He's just fucking. Although he's holding it at a weird angle, but I'm not going to question you, Nick. You just do what you do, boo. What's up? Ask away. Ask away. Just uh, with everything that's happened with you and your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Bitch, we exploring. I'm all right. Huh. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. <laughs> Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Yeah, true. The his quest is pretty good, though. Still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. Some folks were still losing sleep over the broken man. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter, a gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. A man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan. The one before the hull tape. 
Who's the one with the old holo tapes? Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Was it hard? Is Isn't the uh, the mayor? I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. Uh, oh yeah, well you have to go around and collect all the different holotypes. Yeah, that's the one. You have to go to the each of the uh, individual police stations. Yeah, but isn't um isn't the mayor of Diamond City a uh, a synth? So wouldn't it make more sense to keep Nick around to help me out? Well, like, that's a fucking serious foreshadowing, if so. That was nice, Nick. Thank you for that. Uh... Whoa! That's a mole rat with some bums attached to it! I have never seen that before! That is sick! You get a critical, just because I want to see the explosion. <laughs> 